Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a full face of makeup using CoverGirl products. Yay! I have been so excited to do this video for you guys. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I am a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist, a plus-size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below that you can check out. So, like I stated in the intro, I did this full face of makeup right here using CoverGirl products. Now, you're probably all like, Melissa, why are you just doing this video now? Reason being is because CoverGirl just went cruelty-free at the end of last year. I am so stoked over this. I used to use CoverGirl way back in the day when I was first really into makeup because they were really good for my sensitive skin. Um, and when I got back into makeup about three years ago, I was crushed to know that they weren't cruelty free because as you guys know, I'm cruelty free. So when they announced at the end of last year that they were certified cruelty free, I just went through the roof. I just, I could not believe how amazing that was. And I wanted to wait until after the new year to do this video. One, because I knew everybody in their mamas that was cruelty free was going to do CoverGirl videos. But I also wanted to wait until some of the new packaging came out and it showed that the product was cruelty free. Um, I did talk to CoverGirl about that. They said that most of their retailers will probably still have the old packaging for a while. Um, but even though they still had the old packaging, the product is still cruelty free. So I was like, okay. So I took a trip down to my local Walmart and I purchased a whole bunch of CoverGirl products. So if you are ready to see how I came up with this look right here, and by the way, this look is an honor for my mama because today is her birthday. Happy birthday, mama! And if you are ready to, like I said, if you're ready to see how I came out with this look, let's just go ahead and dive on in. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. Yes, I am still in my nightgown. You guys know that when I put my base down, I always wear my nightgowns and then I change, even though my clothes end up getting makeup on them anyways. Whatever. It's the life of a makeup enthusiast. <laughs> Any hoodle. For foundation, I am going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation or Matte Made Foundation. Um, I actually wore this in my video on Sunday, so I did kind of cheat and try it out already. <laughs> um, I am in the shade L15 Porcelain. They do, when you do purchase them, if you go in the store, they have dots next to the shade name that are color coordinated by undertone. I am actually a neutral undertone. Um, even though I do have redness to my face, that doesn't necessarily mean that I have a pink undertone. I actually have a neutral undertone. Um, so this is the shade that I picked. It's a pretty good match. Um, but yeah, it comes in a pump like this. I think I already broke the pump. So, and it's one of those that you twist and it, it's like, cause see, I think I broke it. Either that or just, I don't, I don't do well with pump foundations for some reason. Now, I did not purchase a primer, a face primer. So, I did, or moisturizer from CoverGirl. I did, I don't know why I didn't, I, I just lost it. But I did do a pre-cleanse with my Yes 2 Cotton Micellar Water. I moisturized with the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm underneath my eyes. And the e.l.f. Water Droplet Balm all over my face. And I primed my full face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And then I went in with the Touch and Soul No Poreless Primer around my nose and in my cheek areas where my pores are really more exaggerated when I put foundation on. So, I am going to use the Wet n Wild, I think this is the Buffer Foundation Brush, I don't know. And we're going to go ahead and buff this on the cheek. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like after I have put it down. It is pretty matte. I do have to say that. Um, even with the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation, I still have a little bit of dewiness on my face. But this, I hardly see any at all whatsoever. I don't think this is really full coverage. Um, I would say more of like a medium than a full coverage because I can still see in my mirror, I can see my area where I got hit by a baseball when I was younger really good. I could still see my dark circle-itis and I wasn't able to cover up the redness above my brow. But um, as far as the coverage, it is pretty decent. I'm just going to have to pump on more concealer on my face. So, yeah, which I don't like to do very often because um, with me being a dummy and, sorry, my hubster's alarm's going off. With me being a dummy and sleeping with a fan in front of my face, my under eyes have been getting a little dry lately. So, but it doesn't really accent my pores. I do see a little bit of texture right here in this area. So if you have very textured skin, I would steer clear from this. Um, but other than that, I kind of like it. We'll see how it sets with powder and whatnot. Um, I did not, I was not able to get a concealer because they didn't have any in my shade. Yeah, so I will be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair, and I will be contouring with the NYX Wonder Stick. So I am going to do those real quick, and I'll be right back. Okie dokie, now that I got that done, it's now time to set my face. And I'm actually going to go in with the CoverGirl Clean Matte Pressed Powder. I actually... <laughs> Little known fact, this actually was my go-to powder when I was seriously into makeup forever and a day ago. Okay, um, the packaging is pretty much the same. Um, I'll pop a picture of the old packaging that I had. I may still have it if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I might. But um, yeah, this is in the shade uh, 510 Classic Ivory. And I am just going to use this to set my face. Okay. Hmm. It actually did a really good job of setting the face. I... I'm completely matte, and I actually really like this. This combined with this is like, if you are a matte lover, this is your jam right here. This would be your jam right here. Um, it, I don't have any creasing at all whatsoever right now. And normally, the Tarte Shape Tape would crease underneath my wrinkles right here. And get into them but that's not the case right now my face looks very smooth and I'm actually really impressed with this powder hmm, interesting um I did not get a brow product because you guys know I am ride or die for my it brow pa my it cosmetics brow power pencil can't talk and my Gerard cosmetics brow bar to go so I'm going to pop on these brows change my shirt and then we're going to get into the eyes Alrighty, base is down brows are done i got a little bit of lip oil on to give my lips some hydration now we're going to go into the eyes i did purchase their eyeshadow primer um the one i got is the lid lock up eyeshadow primer it says it's an all-day crease proof shadow security all right, so let's go ahead and get into this. I feel like I'm betraying my Essence eyeshadow primer, but. Ah. But, might as well try it. It doesn't have a smell to it. It's pretty universal. It's right there. So, I wonder if it's going to dry down clear. It's not. It, 
it's not thick, but it's not thin either like the Essence eyeshadow base. It does have a kind of like a, I would say like a medium texture to it or texture consistency to it. Okay. I am not sure if I like this eye primer. It is very tacky, um, meaning sticky, not, y'all know what I mean. Um, and for it being a universal shade, you can actually tell where the primer stops. And it, that doesn't look cute at all. I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy this primer or not. I got brow product on my nose. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this primer is going to go down. The eyeshadow with the primer, but it is, it does have a sticky consistency to it. I'm not a big fan of that. I like how the essence base feels more like a powder then it just feels like my lids are about ready to stay open right now that's how sticky it is all right so i didn't purchase like i think they, it's a 10 pan palette i purchased four of their eyeshadow quads the first one i got this is the number 203 negative space um quad I have this one, which is the 725 Breathtaking Blues Quad. And this one, which is the 715 Stunning Smokies Quad. So I think I'm going to go for like a smoky blue or smoky purple today. Yeah, I'm doing the purples. Reason being, it's my mama's birthday and purple is her favorite color. Happy birthday, mom! <laughs> so... I am definitely going to set my lids and oh, y'all, they still have these in there. <laughs> um, I am going to use this shade right here in the negative space palette. It's just a standard white. It does look like it has a little bit of shine to it, but not too much to where it's just going to be like, well, bam. Now they are set for transition. I'm going to go into the negative space uh, eyeshadow quad again. And I'm going to use this little um, matte light purple shade. That is really pretty. That's going to be nice as a transition color. Not really great as a finger swatch though. All right, and for this, I'm going to go in with the AOA Studio E126 brush. I am going to do my right eye on camera, my left eye off camera. Alrighty, that shade worked pretty good as a transition shade. And I was noticing that my under eyes look very bad. I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's like already bunching up and coming apart. All right, next I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to go into this dark purplish brownish shade um, in the negative space palette. It looks like this. Let's see how it swatches. Oof. That's not very pretty. It's not a pretty swatch. All right, let's just see how she does on the eyes. Go in with the AOA Studio E130. And it's barely picking up on my brush. Okay, this is going to need some work. It is really patchy as all get out. And it doesn't want to blend all that well. So, I am going to work on this eye, do this eye, and I'll be right back. I'm not liking how this is going so far. It took... A good 25 minutes for me to get it looking like this and I don't like it at all I mean I even I used my BH cosmetics v5 vegan blending brush and this blending brush can blend dirt 
and it had a hard time blending this out. So I am not really happy with this look right now. It's just super patchy and oh no. And my under eyes won't stop doing that thing underneath it. It mm, I'm not liking this at all. But we're going to keep on going. Um, I'm going to go in with the 715 Stunny Smoky Quad. And this shade right here, I'm going to put that all over my lid. I did try, I did get a little bit on my finger so I could swatch it for you guys. Ooh, that's really pretty. So I could swatch it for you guys. Hopefully, I can get it on my brush <laughs> and put it on my lids. All right, here we go. A lot of fallout. Lots of fallout, but it is a really, really pretty shade. I think this might have just been redeemed. <laughs> so that lid shade kind of redeemed this look. It is really pretty, and I didn't have any issues putting it on my lid. Um, I just had a little bit of fallout issues. Um, what I did was I went in with the dry, and then after I did both of my eyes, I dampen my brush with some all-nighter and then pressed it on there and it it actually looks really good i really do like that lid shade very pretty all right now i'm gonna go in with the 725 breathtaking blues Get it open. um in this corner blue shade right here i am going to put that in my crease to deepen it up just a little bit and I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics V13 Crease Blending Brush. It doesn't... Actually, I lied. It does pick up really good on my brush. I don't want to put too much down in there because I don't want it to be blue. I still want to keep this purple smokiness going on. So I cleaned it up a little bit. I actually think that it may not be the eyeshadows. I think it's this primer. Reason why I'm thinking that is because as you see right here in my inner corner, I can normally blend that out, but it doesn't want to blend. It just wants to stay put. And I think it's because this primer is so freaking tacky. I think that's probably why I'm having such an issue. So yeah. But I did not purchase an eyeliner because I'm a goober. And <laughs> yeah, I just totally forgot to get a liner. So I'm going to go in with the Eye Method Beauty Waterproof Smudge Proof Long Lasting Wing Stamped Eyeliners. Um, I wore these. Uh, I wore these. I used these for my look. It. There's a couple videos back that olive green look that everybody loved and I was wearing the green lippy. Um, my wing liner was made with these bad boys. I am actually going to post an Instagram video on these tomorrow. So I'm going to go off camera, do my liner, and then I will be right back to do my lashes. I do want to add a little bit of more shimmer on the lid. I think I want to go in with the the uh i keep forgetting what it's called the stunning smoky palette and with this shade right here just pop that a little bit onto the lid just to give it a little bit of there we go that's nice i like that just i just lightly swept it above my liner where my liner's at there we go. So not only did it give it a nice little shimmer, but it also softened up that liner as well. All right. Lash time. I did purchase the Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And this is in the shade 800 Very Black. I have heard really good things about this. So I am hoping... That this will give my lashes some oomph so I don't have to put the falsies on that I had on in last 
I mean, in Sunday's video, excuse me, even though you guys loved the fact that I was wearing those lashes. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to curl them. Let's see how this is going to do. Because y'all know I love my man either. I don't like the handle of it. It's a little... Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love the smell of fresh mascara. It does. I like the wand of it. It does kind of have the same bristles as the man eater does. So that's pretty cool. See what it's going to do. Okay. So, I messed up my Scarlet's putting them in the package last night. I know it sucks. But I have the, um, uh, the style Luella on right now. It's still from Shop Miss A, their brand AOA Studios. These are just a little bit longer and have a little bit more fluff to them than what Scarlet's do. These ones I probably wouldn't wear on a regular basis as opposed to the Scarlet's. So, Let's do these, finish up these eyes with the brow bone, I mean the inner corner indie brow bone. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, I'm going to go into the, um, I cannot remember, the <laughs> breathtaking blues pal uh, quad palette. And with this shade right here, I'm going to pop that on my inner corner and on my brow bone. The eyes are finally done. I feel like that took forever. Um, let's go ahead and finish up this face. I did pick up the the CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. It comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. I'm not going to wear the blush today because I actually want to try out this blush right here. It's their Cheekers Blush in True Plum. I have been wanting to get a purple blush for the longest time. All right, first we are going to go in with the Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. It does smell like peaches. And it's not overpowering. I'm going to use this bronzer shade. Let's watch it. It's not too bad. It kind of reminds me of the Butter Bronzer. All right. This brush is clean. It's just stained. I'm going to go in with this. Ooh, that's really nice. That's not too warm. I really like this bronzer. It is really nice. Does it have a shade in it, I think? No, it doesn't. But I actually really like it. It's really nice. It's It's not too warm it's not too cool it's, it's like the perfect bronzer shade for me okay this is the cheekers blush and this is in the shade true plum uh, 185 true plum <laughs> i can't believe they have this in there <laughs> what what the what am i supposed to do with this like this, no way. I am part of the Chubby Cheek Gang. I cannot use this. It is impractical. Okay, let me swatch this. Ooh. Ooh, that's really pretty. And it's got like a shimmer. It's got like a sheen to it. Kind of like a baked blush. Hmm, really pretty. You do get a lot of kickback. And I have a feeling this is going to be really pigmented. I like this. That is really pretty. All right, now it's time for highlighter. All right, let me get my highlighter brush. Okay, I am going to go into the peach palette, uh, the peach punch highlighter palette with this highlighter shade. Let's go ahead and swatch her first. Ooh, she's going to look pretty. You do get a lot of kickback. It is rather powdery. Mm. 
okay? I'm not really seeing her. She has more of like a definite peach glow to her. But it is really pretty. There we go. Now I can see her. Okay, I can already tell that if I use too much, it's going to add a cast to my, it's going to add pigment to my face. Because I can see it right here, and it's not here. Alright, I got my lip prepped all wiped off, and I actually purchased a bullet lipstick. I don't know why they put the barcode on the cover girl part. It's, it's kind of dumb. Um, this is actually a Demi Matte uh, lipstick in the shade 460 Bestie Boo. And, oh my god, she looks so Ooh, she is pretty. That's going to look so pretty with this eye look. Ooh, I can't wait to put it on. <laughs> okay, this is a lot lighter than what I thought it was going to be. I don't know if I like this color. That and it's really sheer. Like, I can see my lip color through it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Alrighty, not all hope was lost for Lippy Bestie Boo. I did put down some of the Gerard Cosmetics Bullet Lipstick London Fog, and then I took Bestie Boo and added a little bit in the middle, just to brighten it up a little bit. I just don't like it by itself. <laughs> Alright, this is the final look. It's okay, it's not the greatest, but it'll do. These lashes are getting on my nerves. Any hoodle, let's go ahead and do a rundown of the products. This. I am going to have to play with this a little bit more, especially because of the situation that was going on underneath my eyes. I have to see if that was actually the foundation or if it was the concealer, maybe both. Um, I like the coverage of it. I like how it makes my skin look like it's actually my skin and it doesn't really accentuate my pores. It does a little bit of texture right here on my cheeks, as I told you guys earlier. This stuff stinks, though. <laughs> it it stinks up there, kind of like with the Wet n' Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this stuff smells so bad. I, I, I mean, it smells like paint. It does. Um, I'm not going to lie about that. But, um... Yeah, I will probably let you guys know in my March favorites how it turned out, um, if I ended up liking it or not, depending on concealer situation. All right, sorry for the dogs barking in the background. <laughs> I really enjoy this powder. Um, this has been one of my holy grails when I was when I first got into makeup, and I'm so glad that CoverGirl went cruelty free so I could purchase this again because this is one of my favorite pressed powders. Not a fan of this at all whatsoever. Um, it makes my lids too sticky. It didn't allow my eyeshadow to blend all that great. It just, I really don't like it. And what I noticed is that with this primer, because it is so sticky, that I wasn't able to fix it. And it just, it, I don't like this primer at all whatsoever. Eyeshadow quads. I really do like these two. The Shimmering Smokies and the Breathtaking Blues. I really do like these. These are really pigmented. This shade right here saved the look for me. <laughs> um, I really do like these two. They are really nice. This one I'm going to have to play around with a little bit more. Okay. The mascara. It's nice. It does what it's supposed to do. It gives you volume. It doesn't really separate my lashes because like I said, I have really thin baby lashes. Um, and that's what I need the most is something to separate my lashes. Um, but it does give them volume. The blush, I really do enjoy the blush. It is very pretty. It is really nice. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it gives you a nice, healthy glow. Um, I really do like this color. Very nice. The um, Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. Let me get it open. I like the bronzer. I'm going to try out the blush, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this blush. This highlighter, however, is a different story. Um, it is pretty, but you guys know I like to be blinding like the sun. So 
I can't use too much of this because as you guys saw, it added a peachy, a peachy pink pigment to my face. Um, if you have darker, if you're one of my darker skin tone beauties, this will look phenomenal on you. Trust you me, it will. And the lipstick. <sighs> the feeling of the lipstick was good. It wasn't too drying and it wasn't too shiny. Um, and it didn't feel like a, you know, like a, like a lip balm. Um, the color is not great by itself on me. Now, if you have darker skin tones or if you have naturally darker, na natural darker lips, this will look amazing. Um, it was just too light when I put it on my lips because I do have lighter lips. But other than that, and it was a little bit sheer. And that is all that I have for you guys today. I am so glad that I was able to finally purchase CoverGirl again since they are now cruelty free. It just, it, that just made my heart, you know, skip a beat when they announced that. And I, I'm really glad. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below. What are some of your favorite CoverGirl items? Um, let's chat about it. I'll see if I can go try them out as well. Don't forget to pick up my glitter palette with Texas House of Glitters. We all know she is super party and she looks like this. Don't forget that these shades are exclusive to this palette only. So if you want to get on the glitter goodness that is Hubster, Mama, Sassy Pants, and Back Squad, you're going to have to pick this bad boy up. I do have a discount code that you can save 15% off of this palette and anything else on Texas House of Glitters. And it is right here at the bottom of the screen. I do not earn any money on this discount code at all whatsoever. It is just there for you guys to save some money. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Melissa Garrett, on Snapchat as Melissa Leah 1223 and on Instagram as Melissa Leah Garrett. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you see them with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, if that subscribe button is red, it's the wrong color. You need to change it. And don't forget to share this channel out to everyone as well. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you know when I'm posting, even though we mainly know I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you all so much, and I will see you on Friday. Bye!